Hi, first graders. I'm Miss Prescott. I'm one of the first grade teachers at South Shore Pre-K-8 in Rainier Beach. Welcome back to day two of Making Meaning. In our first lesson, we read this book, A Day in the Life of a Garbage Collector by Nate Leboteler. And we learned about Rick, the garbage collector, and what he does during his workday. So in our first lesson, we read this book and discussed it. Today, we're gonna to look at some other parts of the book and do an activity. So for your lesson today, you are gonna need a pencil and you are gonna need this page that's in the district learning packet. It says first grade at the top and diagram Wednesday. It's got this diagram and space to write. You may, if you don't have the district learning packet, you might have been sent this page by your first grade teacher. If not, you might already have your Making Meaning student response book at home, or this might still be at school, that's okay. But if you happen to have it at home, you can grab it and look at page 12. And page 12 is that same page I just showed you. And you can do your work in there. If you don't have any of these options, that's okay too. Get another piece of paper to write on. And then when we go to do this at the end, you can pause on this screen so that you can look at this more closely. And then on the other piece of paper, write down your thinking. All right. And just like yesterday, there are gonna be times when we stop or where I stop or pause and I ask you a question and I want you to talk out loud and share your thinking. So that means you might turn and talk to someone you have at home. If you're with a grandma or an aunt or your brother or sister, you can always turn and talk and speak in whatever language you speak at home. If you don't have someone to talk to, you can look at me on the screen and I'll go like this. And that means it's time to talk and that I'm here to listen. If you don't wanna do that, you can always grab a stuffed animal. Like I've got my friend Koala Bear who's been here this week to help me out. And you can turn and talk to them. Remember, if you've got a stuffy, you wanna make sure that you're staying on topic with them and focusing on your learning. All right, once you've got those materials, then we're ready to go. So, in our first lesson, we heard a book about a garbage collector's day. We heard different chapters from this book, like when do garbage collectors start their days? What do garbage collectors wear? What do garbage collectors drive? What happens when the truck is full? And how do garbage collectors end their days? So what did you learn about garbage collectors from this book? Something I learned from this book was from the, one of these text boxes and it said, I thought this was really cool. Now I gotta find it. So it said that garbage collectors drive garbage trucks and that some garbage trucks have two sets of controls and so that people, garbage collectors can drive the car on both sides. I thought that was a pretty cool thing that I learned from this book. All right, as we have been reading these past few weeks, we have been focusing on text features. And so we started making a text feature chart that lists the different text features we've been seeing in nonfiction books. So we've seen things like glossaries and keywords, index, table of contents, captions, and diagrams. Yesterday at the beginning of our lesson, I pointed out the table of contents to you and we saw all the different chapters and their names. Captions are another thing we see in a lot of nonfiction books. They're groups of words um, that give more information about a picture in the book. And today we're going to talk about some of the text features that are in the book, A Day in the Life of a Garbage Collector. So yesterday we were looking at the table of contents and we read the chapter names and those are the chapters we read yesterday. But then I pointed out these last six items to you and told you that we were going to look at these sections 
in our next lesson, which is today. So these are some text features and they are found at the end of this book. One of the text features is the glossary. We're gonna go ahead and look at that. The glossary is found on page 22. So I'll go back to page 22. There's the glossary and glossary. And a glossary lists and defines important words in a book. So these are some of the important words from the book we read. Landfill, an area where garbage is buried. At a landfill, garbage is stacked and covered with dirt. Mechanic, someone who operates or fixes machines. Recycle, to make new items from old items. Cans, plastic, paper, and glass can be recycled. Route, a series of places a garbage collector visits to pick up garbage. Time card, a card used to record the time a worker is on the job. Another text feature that's in this book is the index. And an index can be used to find a topic quickly without having to look through the whole book. So for example, if I wanted more information about hard hats, I could look back in the index and see, okay, page nine is gonna tell me more about hard hats. So I'd go to page nine, and I'd see here that they talk about how garbage collectors also wear hard hats when they dump garbage. The index is also helpful to review what you have learned. And you can do that by looking in the index and seeing the things that are listed and then try to remember what did you learn about that in the book. So for example, I see landfills right here. I learned in the book that garbage goes to landfills a lot of times and that's the garbage that can't be recycled and it's put into a hole and then it's covered with dirt. That's what a landfill is. Another text feature that's found in this book is this read more and in internet sites. And these sections give us more information or tell us where we can explore more about this topic and learn more. So yesterday at the end, I asked you what you still wondered about garbage collectors. And then I asked you, how could you answer those wonderings if they weren't answered in the book? And we decided you could read more about it. You could ask somebody in your community. And so here, this text feature actually gives you titles of books that you could read to find out more. So here it says, Garbage Trucks is one title of a book that you could read. The Landfill is another title of a book you can read. This internet site, it tells you how to go to this special internet site um, for kids so that you can find out even more about, uh, about garbage collectors. So that is another text feature that we can add to our list of text features. So here's our chart of text features and we can add books and internet sites for learning more. That's a great way to explore more about that topic. Another topic, or sorry, another text feature that is in our book is this diagram. And the diagram, this is a picture of something and then it's labeled. And the labels identify important items in the photo. So I'm gonna read these different labels to you. Here it says shovel, lift, garbage can. So that lift is lifting up the garbage can. Hard hat, safety vest. Garbage collectors must wear brightly colored safety vests in the truck yard and on the route. People can easily see these bright vests. Gloves, it points to both of them. He's got two hands and a recycling bin. So when we look at diagrams, they actually can, they are a text feature and this text feature can teach us something about garbage collectors. So when you look at this diagram, what do you, what do you learn from it? So when you look at this diagram, what do you learn from it?
So when I look at it, I learned that garbage collectors wear safety vests. It's one of the ma the biggest things, or the thing that they talked about the most on this diagram were these safety vests. I also learned that garbage collectors need a lot of equipment. They've labeled all of these different pieces of equipment that the garbage collector needs. So on that piece of paper that I showed you at the very beginning, there is a picture of that diagram that we just looked at. So I want you to think about what, one, what that thing is that you learned about, or when you look at this diagram, what is one thing that you learn about garbage collectors? And you're gonna write it down here. I learned, and say what you learned from the diagram. So you're not necessarily writing something from the book, because there's lots of things we learn in the book that's not in this picture. We're only talking about things that we learn from this diagram. Because remember, text features teach us different things, and so we're, we're zooming in on this one, we're focusing on it, and thinking, what does this diagram teach us? So you'll go ahead and write that information there. Remember, if you don't have this at home, you can pause the video now and take a, a closer look at the diagram, and then on another sheet of paper, write down what you learned. Once you have finished that, it's time to move on to in, in I, ooh, excuse me. It is time to move on to IDR. So that is your daily reading time when you should be reading books that are just right for you. So I'm gonna grab my IDR books, sit back in my chair, and get comfortable. Remember, when you are reading for IDR, you want to make sure that you're reading for at least 20, at least 15 to 20 minutes. It's so important to have that time to read on your own and explore. And right now you can really be focusing on um, wondering about what you read and looking for diagrams, or sorry, not diagrams, but looking for text features. So as you read your book, you wanna keep your eye out for text features and wonder what are you learning from those text features. For example, my IDR book today is about bees. So I'm gonna start looking through it and reading it. Ooh, I already noticed as soon as I opened the book that I found a text feature. I found the table of contents. Okay, and I see all these different chapters. So I know some of the information I'm going to be learning about in this book are listed in these chapter titles, like what are bees? I'll get to learn what bees are. Where, what do bees eat? How long do bees live? So I can go ahead and get started. Oh, already I see some labels here. I'm seeing some keywords that are bolded. Oh, I've already found three different text features as I've been reading. Ooh, I'm gonna keep going. And I'm still seeing more, te more text features, like more keywords throughout here. I have to go ahead and think, what, what am I wondering? What am I learning from these? So here's that chapter that I mentioned at the beginning called How Do Bees Eat? And I see now that pollen and nectar must be important keywords that teach me about what bees eat. So when I read through here, I can learn a little bit more. Bees eat the pollen from flowers. Hmm, that makes me wonder. I wonder if bees like certain types of flowers or if they like every type of flower. Hmm, they bring juice called nectar from the flowers to the nest. They make it into honey, which they eat. Oh, I wonder if different types of flower make, diff make honey taste different. Like if they go to a certain type of flower, does that make the honey sweeter? I don't know. So I can keep reading and looking through my book. And when I'm done, I can go and share with a family member. I could show them, hey, Auntie, look, I found an index in my IDR book. We've been learning about those in class. And I learned that I can look back here and if I wanna know more about queen bees, I can see that all these pages have information about queen bees on here. Or maybe you wanna share, ooh, a diagram that you find. So I found a diagram here and it's of a bug. 
and it has all its different parts labeled there. Maybe you want to share the glossary that you find. Or maybe you want to share one of your wonderings. You could find a brother or sister and say, hey, I was reading this book during my IDR time about bees, and it started making me think about what type of flowers bees like to eat. And I learned that they need the, to eat the pollen from flowers and that they bring the juice called nectar. Um, but it made me think, do they go to the same types of flowers? Do they go to all sorts of flowers? I wanna find out more about that. Can you help me? And maybe you and your siblings could find out more about something you're wondering. Anyway, I want you to have fun while you're reading your own books at home during IDR time and really thinking about what you're wondering um, as you read these books and keeping your eye out for those text features. Remember, these are the ones that we've been looking at, glossaries, keywords, indexes, table of contents, captions, diagrams, and now, after today, books and internet sites for learning more. See if you can find some of those in your IDR books. Thank you again for joining me today. I will see you next time. Have an awesome day. Bye, first graders.